For this week's Quick Tip Tuesday, we are continuing on our series with hip mobility, uh, and today we're going to approach it from a little bit of a different standpoint. Last week we did the 99 switches, very specific, we'll call it, to hip mobility, and now we're going to talk about incorporating it into actual lifts. Um, this is not something that we're going to try to load for high output like we would a deadlift or a back squat. Uh, it's an accessory movement, uh, and you can either use these <clears throat> at the beginning of the workout as a warm up or later in the workout. Uh, during your normal accessory work. So, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to start off with just a split stance. You'll see this will apply to a lot of different single leg exercises. Today we're going to start off with kind of the most basic one, where we're just doing like a split squat position. Uh, so I'm going to start off with the weight on the outside of my hand. And what we're going to do here, it's easy to see if I do not have a shoe on, we're going to bias ourselves towards external rotation. So if you have poor external rotation and good internal rotation, this is the variation that you want to do. So we're going to have the weight on the outside of our leg. So same leg forward, same side with the dumbbell, ipsilateral is the technical word for it. And as we go down, we're going to make sure that the weight stays, uh, our foot stays on the ground, specifically inside of our foot. You can see my foot wanting to roll out in the supination. We're going to keep that pushing down to the ground and then push back up. And down some, and then back up. So we want to make sure that our foot stays loaded and flat on the ground while we do this. We're not falling over either way, as you saw that I did there at the end. Um, and the weight's not dragging us one way or the other. On the flip side of that, for the contralateral, we're going to work internal rotation. So this is better for someone who is good at external rotation and bad at internal rotation. And we can get into uh, some very easy tests that we could run that would give you an idea about which one you prefer, which one your body is biased towards. But uh, for this video, we're just going to talk about this specific exercise. Same idea with the foot, obviously with the weight on the inside now of the leg here. It's going to want to pull us over this way or want to pull us into pronation and lose the supination. So foot flat, we don't want to roll the outside of our foot to push up, but we want to make sure that knee stays right over top here uh, and that we're pushing up. The other thing to make sure of on the contralateral split squat is that we're not opening up this way as we go down with the knee collapsing, knee stays still, and if anything, we're slightly turned into the hip, taking the weight dumbbell down towards the inside of the foot and holding there as we go through the range of motion. So again, really focus on that foot placement that we're dealing with. Make sure we're in a good, uh, when we go down the bottom, like a 90-90 position, we want our, sh our shin angle to match our torso angle, uh, and we want to make sure that we have a weight that's not pulling us too far one way or the other, and we're using this for an accessory movement, keeping the weight, the weight reasonable, going slow with the movement, uh, and really getting into a deep range of motion. 